Well, that's beautifully said, and you know, as I'm reminded of of uh, the phrase, "the kingdom of uh, to, uh, of heaven is within." That mm-hmm. when we go into our heart and really relax our consciousness inwardly, we begin to discover these pathways. We be- begin to discover this connection to all that is, and you've beautifully articulated that. Uh, one of the things also that I love is the reference to the pineal. Because the heart without the wisdom, the heart without the higher understanding of place, so to speak, can become a little bit lost. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, thank you for that succinctness. Mm-hmm. And uh, one, of, uh, one of the things I'd like to do, speaking of succinctness, is we have a number of callers standing by. Let's say hi to some more folks and bring them into the conversation. And uh, you, uh, I think it's time we head east. Well, let's do that. So we're going to head over to New Jersey. All right. Uh, line 5 and welcome Eva to the show. Namaste, Eva. Welcome. Hello, loves. You know, hi, I'm sweetheart. in New Jersey for this month, but I just... Hi, but I just left an eight, a seven-year trip to Sedona. So wow! Wow! Now, but I think that's funny. I, think that's I love funny. it. I love when there's always these serendipitous uh, events happening. How can we serve you, honey? <laughs> um, I'm just going to leave it open to a soul reading, if that's possible. I would greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. You know, as I connect with you, I'm, I'm smiling because when I connect with you, I see this, um, how do I describe this? It's so beautiful. It's an auric expression is the, is the words that they're giving me right now. So I want you to, if it's safe to do so, I want you to close your eyes and just relax your breath and to feel into this energy field of expression. It's not a typical aura. It's an expression. And this expression of you is saying, if you claim me, you will move forward. And it's about claiming this. It's very, very brilliant, very, very connected. The color is very crystalline. It's like that, um, you know, when you when you look at a real crystalline color, it has like soft hues of pink and blue and greens and, and like that iridescent oh. color. And through this connection, through this expression, they're saying um, to shake your hands. And I'm actually doing that with you right now. I'm just shaking my hands. I'm shaking my hands. Move your head. And they're saying that the more that you create, and I love that you're with us today during this week, and especially this is a very creative week. Create with your hands. I don't care if it's watercolor, crayons, (laughs) go put your hands in, in sand, you know. You need to be creating with your hands, and that's how you will connect more with this expression, this auric expression, which will, um, it's funny, it's like the minute you connect with it, you're going to have this sensation of feeling like you're 20 feet tall, and it's as if your eyes will be opened for the first time, and everything will make sense. I mean, everything. So this is a good week for you, because this is the week to do it. It's like right now. This isn't what's coming. It's right now, and that's why you got through today, and that's why we're talking right now. So I'm really Really honored to have this time with you, Eva. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> oh, <Beautiful>. Namaste. <laughs> namaste. And many blessings. Uh huh. And you know, timing is always synchronicity. It's amazing. Uh, it's a matter of what we pay attention to. <laughs> so it's true. Happy. And I mentioned we were headed east. Well, we are. Okay. Uh, I, we have another caller on line four from New York. And All we'll right. Say hi to Joanne. Namaste, Joanne. Welcome. Oh, namaste. Thank you so much for um, getting on the phone with me. So I would like a soul reading as well. Absolutely. Now, I need to invite you as I'm listening to you. I just, I first of all, just want to thank you for being on the planet. There, there's so much you bring to the planet. I don't know that you thank yourself enough. I, I really don't. But I just, I would like to thank you on behalf of the universe for saying yes to your mission and for moving forward. If it's safe to do so, I'd like you to put your left hand on your third chakra and to put your right hand on your heart. And of course, that's why you're here today because they're saying that it is time for you to remember that your heart in action will bring your power forward and that with the hand, the left and the right hand, bring your breath down to that left hand, really feel it. And on the exhale, feel that breath come out through the right hand. So we're just doing that third chakra heart, third chakra heart, and then reverse the hands, right hand 
on the third, left hand on the heart, and I'm doing this with you, and do the same thing. And they're saying that the balance you seek and the momentum you are calling in has already started. And that it is important for you to be celebrating yourself. And that in a season of celebration, put yourself first, remember your truth, and everything will resolve. New Year's for you, I'm seeing lots of celebratory energy, a lot of energy for you around the number eight, which is, of course, the infinite and the archangelic realm, but I'm also seeing it spinning. So what that tells me is that right now you need to be careful not to repeat a cycle. It's important that if it comes up in front of you, breathe through it, balance the third and fourth, and then move forward. It's a beautiful time, and the only word I can give you is celebrate you, my love. Just celebrate you. I'm really glad you got through today. Namaste, angel. Wow, that couldn't be more beneficial to me right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I love you, honey. Thank you. Namaste. Many blessings. And today, and as we are sharing the love and the wisdom, we're chatting with Joan Sirio, who has written a, an amazing book. And Joan, one of the things I want to ask you is Hardwired to Heaven offers a, uh, metaphysical insights, bridging science and metaphysics. Mm-hmm. And I understand that you have some practices that will assist people to connect with this energy. Yummy, it's, yummy. It's one thing to think about it. It's another to do it. <laughs> Tell us a little more about what the reader might find in your book uh, that that's, that'll help them move forward. Uh, yes, I have some tools, and there's three meditations that I, prov- that I have in the book. And one, the first meditation is to balance and dissipate energy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold, so. Uh, That will help you to clear the energy from your body. And, you know, as we all build up charge, you know, we talk about, you know, you get charged about something. Well, actually, you are building up this charge. And so this is a way of you to ground it and dissipate it. And then I offer a meditation for enhancing energy. So this meditation can help to increase your heart's electromagnetic field, charge your heart, and, you know, get the energy flowing and going. Because what I provide in the book are seven steps to using your heart's electromagnetic field to create. And then I provide a third meditation, which is the sacred coordinate meditation. I just talked about a little bit about what the sacred coordinate is. And this meditation just goes, and it, it's, It's beautiful because it ends up in a state of bliss and you just, you know, allowing this space to open even more. Well, how beautiful. Well, now I'm sitting here as a listener going, I want that bliss. So how do I find it? How do people get your book? What, tell us how we can send people to get your book and find out more about you. The easiest way is to go to my website, hardwired to heaven.com. And all the ways that you can get a book are there. You can, it's, it's um, all the main, you know, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, it's e-books, all, all the different uh, varieties of e-books. You can get it that way, too. So that's the easiest way to do it. And I do have events on there. Um, if you go to my personal website, joanserial.com, I do have a blog. And um, so you can catch up on things that way. Uh, you can sign up for my mailing list on either one. And I do come out with a newsletter, which I'll probably be putting out fairly soon. I didn't put one out last month. So I'll put one going out this month. Wonderful. So remember, guys, it's hardwiredtoheaven.com where you can find everything about this amazing book and, and of course, Joan Serio and, and find out more. I think that's pretty exciting. Thank you, Joan. And speaking of hardwired, we've got a couple of people that are on the phone well, still. Let's, let's see if we can say hello. Let's do that because, you know, we started off on the West Coast in California, Mojave, San Francisco. We went over to New Jersey and New York, and now we're going to Canada. Let's go to Canada. I, lo- I love Canada. Who do we have from Canada, Shree? Right to Nicole. Namaste, Nicole. Welcome. Oh, hi, you guys. I'm glad I made it this time. We are, too. So I'm from, uh, I live in Ida Gwaii in northern BC, and uh, yeah, I'm calling you f- to get a small uh, soul reading. I'm going through some some things, and I'm finding myself being unbalanced as to, 
should I let it go this part and look at it from another direction? Or So I would like to see what you see. <laughs> well, thank you for the honor of, of allowing me that gift and, and, and for the gift of calling in. We're really glad you did, Nicole. You know, it's, it's, again, I love that you got through this week because when I look at you as you're speaking, it's almost as if you feel you're in quicksand. It's one of those things like, if I keep going, will this swallow me up and can I get out? And the answer is yes. Um, However, when I gaze at your energy field right now, what I'm seeing is two different energies. It's like your left hand is carrying one energy and your right hand is carrying the other. And Archangel Gabriel is right around you, as is Archangel Michael. And they're both saying the same thing. Bring the two together and create a new. Neither, neither of the things in front of you right now are are supporting who you are. It's like, it's funny, they're showing me you coming up out of the ocean and you're soaking wet, but as you get up and you realize that you're soaking wet, it's because it's like you're carrying all this old stuff. And the minute you take it off, everything becomes fresh. And so they're saying it's time to just let go and move forward. And that there's nothing you need to actually do other than allow it to dissolve by keeping your focus on what you want and dive deep and create from what your truth is. You need to trust your intuition because you are really intuitive. And so you need to trust what you know without doubting yourself. And this other stuff is just going to resolve. It, it's just you'll be out of the quicksand the moment you say I'm out. It's going to resolve, but create from your deepest desires. And I see great manifestation around you right now. It's interesting. You're resonating with the numbers 3, 5, and 11. So that means you've got a lot of powerful momentum. It's kind of like that engine building steam. So look forward to a great 2015. I'm really glad you called today. We love you, dear one. Thank you, Nicole. Well, thank you very much. You're very Bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you know, Kara, we have another lady that has been uh, patiently waiting from Canada. Well, let's get her in. Okay. Line three will say hi to Marianne. Namaste, Marianne. Welcome. Namaste. I can't believe I got through. <laughs> <laughs> it's your day. Yay. No, I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Anyway, oh, thank you so much. Um, I have been having some trouble lately just um, and trying to find my heart center. Um, I'm very empathic, so energies um, affect me uh, greatly. Yeah. That's the negative energies, um, but all energies. Um, I talk to my angels every day. They've been a, a great help. Um, mm -hmm. But I would just, I would like to see, I guess, what you see. Um, just to get a mini, mini slow reading, if I could, please, Kira. Oh, it's my honor, Marianne. Thank you. Truly, it's my honor. And I, I need to share with you that as you were talking, all these beautiful angels just sat quietly, brought their hands into prayer position, and looked up at you and said, when did you forget that you are the creator? And I just need to share that with you because... There's like a neon sign on your heart that says, use me. And it's time to close that sign and change it to, I love me. The, the, empathic energies that you're carrying are seeking an ascended moment. And uh, I love that you got through today. I would encourage you to read Joan's book, number one, Hardwired to Heaven. I'd also encourage you to gift yourself with doing, it's funny, they're giving me 10. I want you to make a list of 10 things that are important to you and get them all done before the end of the year. And this is not meant to be hard. It's meant to be illuminating. And if you do that, you will accomplish a sense of freedom that will free you for the next journey because you're on a cusp. It's like you're standing on the edge of a vortex of divinity and you've got one leg out, but you keep pulling it back in. And so it's time for you to take the leap of faith. But after you pull up these 10 things. And so I hope that you give yourself that gift over the next few weeks and allow yourself to fly because you're at a moment of great freedom and it's your time and it's why you got through today. Thank you so much for calling. Oh, thank you so much, Kira. Thank you, Sri. You're welcome, my Namaste. love. Namaste. And to all of our listeners, I want to say many blessings indeed. You know, what you look at determines what it enlarges in your life. It does. And as we breathe into our heart, as we trust that the divine is indeed carrying us, more is revealed. And that's one of the magics. You know, in this time we're in right now of the Chakravastu opening, uh, 
it's important to recognize that each of us has our own process. Each of us is in a self-revelatory process of our life's journey. Yeah. And we need to trust our own incubation times, our own <laughs> germination times, and, and the times to take action. And so, beloved ones, uh, speaking of taking action, we encourage you to visit SriAndKira.com. Sign up for the January teleclass. You're going to find that this is so nourishing as we share with you another paradigm for understanding how energy can be supportive, how, how you can have a more abundant, fulfilling life. Three weeks, three teleclasses, $22. It's a bargain. It's a totally. great way to start the new year. We'd love to connect with you there. We'd like to thank our beautiful guest guest today, Joan Sirio, hardwiredtoheaven.com. Joan, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Beautiful. As did we. And to all of our listeners, as we come to a close for this Sunday's uh, connection, we want to remind you that you're doing it perfectly. Absolutely. Let the water flow through you. Powerful (laughs) week. Bring your head to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And may you know that all is truly well. Namaste. Thank you for joining us at Shri and Kira Live. To have your questions answered, send us an email to guest at shriandkiraradio.com and check out more information at shriandkira.com. See you next week. Namaste. Namaste.